Hi again. This is your video for Thursday, May 28th, and it is very short. We don't have any blending today or dictation. We are just doing a decodable. So you're gonna need that. Where to go? So get this guy ready. We're gonna read that in a minute. Um, just wanna remind everybody today is the last day you, um, I mean, not technically the total last day, but I really need everybody's homework today. Um, so either in the drop-off box in front of the school or send it back with them when they deliver any of the food and we'll get all that in so I can go through everything and make sure that I have enough from everyone for grades. Um, so yeah, get all that in and then we do have a little tiny lesson for tomorrow on Friday since we were off on Monday so now we're going to do Friday. Um, so you'll have a little lesson there, but again, no worksheets today or tomorrow. That way you can get everything else in and I'll get those graded and worked on. And so we'll do a decodable. So I'll go do that with T-Rex. And then for math today, all you're going to do is the Nearpod lesson that's under the Thursday lesson plan. You'll click on that and go through that. It's about tally marks and doing charts with tally marks. Um, and then there's also some Prodigy lessons still available on there. So you guys can do those things, catch up on other work that you need to. If you need more time, please let me know. Um, we can turn in and do some last minute stuff um, on Monday as well if need be. So just let me know if you need anything, okay? And enjoy your decodable. Hey everybody, here's our last decodable of the year. Picking Flowers by Charles Broderick, illustrated by Dennis Huckerman, number 106. Okay, now remember how we read this, touching each word as we read it. Ready? Six kids hiked behind Ranger Liz down the trail. The kids liked Ranger Liz. The kids followed Ranger Liz up high ridges and over wide bridges. They followed her into a field of flowers. The kids really liked the flowers. Some flowers reached the trail's edge. Some looked like bright spikes. I wish I could take some flowers home, said Rick. They would be nice for my mom. Read this, said Mike. Rick read, please do not pick the flowers. Rick looked around the field. It was filled with flowers. Wish I could lick my finger. Whew, it's warm in here. Okay. There are miles of flowers, said Rick. Why can't we pick some? A yellow and black bee buzzed by. The bee sniffed at a flower. Rick and the kids jumped back. Then Rick saw a black and yellow finch. The bird sniffed at a flower, too. See the bees and the birds, said Ranger Liz. They need the flowers, and the flowers need them. Rick was still thinking about his mom. But why can't we pick flowers, he asked. Ranger Liz smiled. Oh, man, I'm having a hard time with this page turning. Tiny T-Rex hands are killing me. Ah. Oh. Okay, almost got it. Whew, finally. Well, said Ranger Liz, your mom might like a mix of flowers. You might pick six or seven. That's right, said Rick. What about your five pals, asked Liz. Would they like a mix too? Yes, shouted the kids. That's a lot of flowers, said Liz, and hundreds of kids hike here each week. What if all those kids picked flowers? Rick was thinking, there would be no flowers left, he said, and that would be bad for the bees and the birds.
That's right, said Ranger Liz. So what do you say now, Rick? Please do not pick the flowers, smiled Rick. All right, that's it. Holy cow. See you later, alligators.